going on guys so today I've got a problem and that problem happens to be a bug problem and that bug problem is grubs side web worms and all like if you're asking yourself what does it look like that it looks like that you ready let's go can you tell if it's grub damage well you'll see spotty you'll see outliers of green with patches of dead and when you grab and pull on if it comes out it's grub damage just like that now I bet you I could dig down in there and find the grubs but here's the thing about grubs everybody thinks that the grubs are still in here and that's not the truth what's happened is is they've moved on off to the outer perimeters of this area and they're probably like right here they've made their way you can see they're eating there's a little bit this way and then you did pull right here and it comes right up so where you want to treat is all on the outer perimeter of this you put just a little extra around the damaged area to make sure that you kill what you're trying to get after and you'll nine times out of ten knock that problem out and you won't have a problem again but I've got it pretty extensively through this entire area yeah that's disappointing now some might ask well what can look like grub damage but isn't and let's talk about this right here this looks very similar but when I pull on it it's not cut well that part did come up so I might have a little bit of grub damage in there in fact I might just so we're going to treat all this but as you can see where you've got dead patches and you've got green strewn throughout it the bugs are no or the grubs and the sod web worms and anything that's eating the roots are no longer here they're out here as you can see they've made their way and they're kind of heading this direction or maybe they're heading this direction but most likely they're heading this way but this is the area you need to concentrate on if you're going to throw a little extra on get it out to this area kill them off but make sure you get a good blanket application everywhere else so this area here was all dead dug it up put the head in over there dug it up to here and come to find out why these four were still alive their little buddy there is dead, but they've been chawing on all the roots of the grass out here. Let's talk about what we use to fix this problem. Now there are two products that I recommend. If you're looking for an, basically an insta-kill, this 24-hour Grub Killer Plus by BioAdvanced, fantastic stuff, will really wipe them out. That's your instant overnight cure for... Uh, deep infestations and it'll take care of your grubs, any ants, chinch bugs, army worms, sod web worms, and mole crickets. Check the uh, back of the label for any additional pests that it might take care of but this stuff is fantastic. Then they also have your seasonal stuff and this is more for long term uh, keeping the bugs out because this 24 hour will do an insta kill but that doesn't mean that a week or two later when its effects have worn off that there can't be more sea, uh, eggs laid and eventual grub damage from that. So this is your seasonal, this is your insta kill. Long term, short term. But we're going to put down the short term today. And then here in about two weeks I'll put down the long term stuff and that'll get me through the remainder of the season.
Now the settings on this for the on the bag that says for a deluxe or Scott's Deluxe Edge Guard should be a four for the one and one the one and a third pound rate. Uh, for a two pound rate, it's four and a half. I think I'm just going to hit the four in all the normal spots, but on that heavy spot that's got some damage, I'll turn it up to the four and a half. Let's go. Turn this up and I'm gonna wreck it. I'm gonna kill these mothers. I'm gonna go over it twice. So just as I was going back forth over this section of the yard, I passed four of those extra moths just jumping in and out. So they are definitely in season of trying to lay the eggs to then grow their offspring, which are the grubs and the sodweb worms and all that kind of stuff, to then where they feed so that they can then become out of the ground, become moths, there's the roots of your grass. So we're gonna kill them. They are dying. Let them die, let them die. Hey, thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for any notifications on any future videos being posted. Also, like, share with your friends, and please comment down below. It really helps. And we'll see you in the next one.